Hey, in this video, I get coached by Master, who is the best Mr. Game Watch player in the entire world. He has a meta fight where he coaches people for a certain amount of money, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this service already, so I thought I'll probably leave in like the full VOD, the full coaching session, so you can see what it is like to get coached by a top player. And if you want to do it yourself, head on down to the description. I'll put in Master's meta fight so you can get a lesson from him yourself. And although I'm playing Game Watch and he's teaching me Game & Watch stuff, he can also help you no matter what character you play. Because in this video, as you'll see, he points a lot, out a lot of just bad habits I have, which would be helpful with any single character. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hey, nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is so weird. I've watched you for so long. I will say the same thing about you. I've watched it for so long. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Can I? I'll, I'll just say like my thoughts after playing is like um, he's kind of like a very patient player, and I feel like I need to get better at like kind of overshooting, but safely, like probably with Nair and stuff. I feel like mm -hmm. I either don't run forward enough first, or like I don't know. I'll just like give up on the neutral, just do a dash tackle or something, something silly. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, and I really struggled with killing him as well. Okay, so struggling with killing is pretty normal for a game of watch. Um, he doesn't really have like too many. Well, I mean, he does have confirms, you know, but like he's got like down smash, F smash, which is actually not as easy to land as people say, because it's like you literally have to commit to running into a smash attack, which does have a little bit of lag, and it's very telegraphed as well. So it's yeah. kind of easy to tell when he's gonna do it. Uh, and then his other confirms are like drag down there into like down tilt or F tilt. But are those again, true? they are so situational. Yeah, they, they okay. are true, but they are very situational. They're like, if you manage to get the drag down good, but like honestly, it's very hard to get, so yeah, it's not as easy. Yeah, and then your other options are like you can kill with forward air, which is also pretty slow, it's like frame 30, uh, frame 15 at, at best if you like short hop it. Um, yeah. And then there's also like back here or downer, but well, downer, you know, it's pretty laggy. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, with yeah. down smash, I try to usually, well, obviously, ledge trap or like, I see you do it a lot, which seems good. Like, if someone's kind of doing an aerial at you and you outspace it with the down smash kind of thing. Oh, yes. Yes, you can fade back, bait an aerial, and then just down smash and it'll bury them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. That is really, really good. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see. I will most likely be pausing a lot and like um, going back and forth with the video just to like note a couple of things, you know? Yeah. Okay, so casual Pikachu stuff back here, so neutral. Okay, so the the first thing off the bat over here is definitely like the high recovery. Um, I have a lot of students who do the same habit actually. They they have like they up behind like exactly here, which is where you did it. Yeah. Look. You upbeat over there. And the problem with this is that Game & Watch over here actually does have a little bit of end lag. So if you recover like this, even though Pikachu is just getting back from the ledge, he has enough time to do that, you see? Yeah. He did the rising up here. Um, so as Game & Watch, and in general as any character, try to aim for ledge instead. Like try to recover low and go to the okay. ledge. But with Game & Watch especially, because like his upbeat is invincible, you know? So, yeah. Only yeah, at the, the beginning or something, is it? Yeah, it's like around frame 5 to 14. So like okay. the beginning and halfway. But then at the end, it's not invincible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was good. That downer, I think you can like... Um... Okay, so let's see. How was it done? That downer over here, usually this... In this exact moment, you actually don't have to wait for Pikachu to land to upbeat it. You can upbeat it from this hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You can actually upbeat it here and it'll still combo and it'll be like better. Because here, since you didn't upbeat it, he lands over here. Yeah. But you did something that was good and that was dropping shield. You could have turned around and grabbed instead over here. Since he does have a little bit of end leg in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because instead you try to like run there. But you could have like grabbed for sure. Okay, okay. So nice. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, they're definitely the 
the dash attack is good, but trying to approach with dash attack is not exactly uh too too great like over here. Yeah. Cuz it's very very laggy. Here since he had just teched, uh, he would have most likely just shielded afterwards, which he did as you can see. Yeah. So instead of dash grab, or sorry, instead of dash attack, try to push him with dash grab. Dash grab when it's kind of like a panic kind of situation like that. Yeah, after they take in place, people usually just shield, so always go for grab after that. Okay, that makes sense, actually, yeah. Oh, oh, nice tech, what the fuck? Congrats, <laughs> 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 okay. That was actually a good early up, but that one was good. Oh, I'm spamming. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do it, man. Sometimes you have to do it. <laughs> hey, look at that. You see, it worked. There, the problem right there was the dash attacks, like I said. Yeah. And it was actually the same situation. So, like, you dash attacked in a situation where he was most likely just gonna shield, like here. Mm -hmm. And instead, you could have grabbed them, but you dash attacked. And you got dash attack for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My usual advice against Pikachu in general, do you see how he's just back airing a lot? Yeah. Is to just stay grounded, wait for him to back air. Because he's gonna do it. He's gonna he's gonna back air eventually, you know? Yeah, he needs to um, try and hit his move, yeah. Yeah, that's his main combo starter too. Uh just try to stay grounded, shield, and then up B. Or if you don't want to up B it, you can also turn around and grab. Okay, yeah. So don't try and like I don't know go for like the the mix-up of trying to contest it or whatever like yeah no definitely don't try to contest it if you're gonna try to contest it contest it with your own backer not with an air because if you oh, do it with an air okay. it'll actually hit you first uh okay yeah Ooh, okay that was good that was a weird situation to be at we're gonna go the other way oh my god the mix the should mix yeah i'm dash stacking a lot yeah, the dash attack is definitely what gets you punished a lot in neutral. Yeah, that's dude, just it's, now, it's such a fast option. You know? Yeah, now that you're pointing it out though, I'm like cringing so hard. <laughs> it, it happens. I watch my videos and people go like, "Man, you down her so much." I'm like, "That's not true." And then I watch it and I'm like, "Oh." Okay. <laughs> oh, nice catch. There, bacon. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Let's trap. There, you see that? Okay, the shield. He. He got, exactly. He got up from a tech situation and he shielded again. Yeah. I don't think he dash attack here though. Like, look, he misses tech, gets up. Okay, you you f tilted, which is basically the same. You you went for a burst option. Yeah. Um, instead of going for the 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 attack, you just go for the grab. It'll give you positioning. You can throw him off stage and then reset to another bacon situation. You know. Yeah. There's been like three situations in a row now where the same thing has happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, nice. I love punishing Pikachu uh, F-Smash like that. I usually usually punish it like that, too. He didn't die? Bro, what? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not dead here. Ooh. Nice. That wasn't a good early up B because you knew he was going to challenge you. Yeah, I think that was kind of just like a reaction. Like, just press up B as soon as you see some movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in those situations, it's good to up B early. But in other cases, just aim for the ledge for sure. Yeah, okay. And here, like I said, if you're actually struggling to land there, so um, mm. if you're starting and to And I struggle, got punished for one, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Stay grounded. Stay grounded, wait for him to do his aerial, and then I'll be it. Okay. So kind of like be a counter puncher, kind of. Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, like you can try approaching every now and then, like you're doing. You're actually doing it really well. It's just uh, that if you notice that it doesn't work, you have to, like, mix it up, you know? You have to go for another thing to try to get damage. Like, if approaching is not getting you damage, try to, like, wait the opponent out instead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, no, another one. Yeah, that was a weird downer. <laughs> oh, you could have got a two-frame there. It was nice. It was a nice upbeat. It's just the two-frame was there. Yeah. Okay, I feel like there instead of the down smash, I feel like it's a good idea because if you had connected it, 
you would have gotten the kill. But the way I see this situation, because it happens to me a lot in tournament, mm -hmm. is that if you get the two frame, you win. Mm -hmm. But it's a two frame window. It's very, very uh, close. You know, like you, you have like only two frames. Like you only have two frames to get it. So in that case, I feel like it's better to go for bacon instead of charging a down smash here. Oh, really? Cause, yeah, because that way, if you manage to get the bacon to two frame, you can get a uh, an F tilt to kill. And it's a kill percent a kill anyway, frame. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it kills. And if it misses, if the bacon misses, you still keep him at the ledge. And you might get like a couple bacon to hit him. And then you will put him at more percent where basically anything else will kill, you know? Because like right now, really only a down smash will kill. Look, like, look at that. that. The dash attack didn't kill, you know? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, getting more percent with bacon is definitely important. Okay. Oh, and there, there, the dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the grass instead. Go for the grass. I'm never dash attacking again. <laughs> <laughs> I I tend to avoid it a lot. Yeah, because it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> that one was good though. That was for catching a landing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I remember yeah. this. It was so he yeah, was obviously landing then. Yeah. Let me see. How did that happen? I kind of saw it coming. Yeah. Okay. Because he had to land there. Yeah, he had to land. So this, I feel, every time you have Pikachu over here, in this situation, let me see. Every time you have Pikachu over here and you're at ledge, okay, you're at ledge over here. Yeah. Pikachu is above you. You always, always, and seriously, always want to drop ledge nair. Mm. If you had drop ledge nair, this nair that he did would have gotten hit by your nair instead, you know? Yeah, yep. It, it wouldn't have killed him, but at least you wouldn't have died, and you would have put him in a juggle situation. Yeah, it would have just completely turned it around. Yeah. So there's that. Mm. That was game one. Oh, also, FD is very bad against Pikachu. Very bad. Oh, like uh, bad for Game & Watch? Yeah, FD for Game & Watch is usually good. But in this case, it's actually not that good. Because this is Pikachu's best stage, along with Kalos. Oh, okay. Because I was just thinking, because yeah. I was struggling to kill him. So I was like, at least he can't recover to a platform. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, mm, I used to take Isam here to FD. But every time I counterpicked him to FD, I would always lose. Always, always, always. Oh, so, so that's why since... I lost. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's just he can, get, he can get Thunder at any point in the stage because there's no platform to stop the Thunder. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, small battlefield is definitely better. Yes. Okay, yeah. There, there you cannot beat them there. Oh, wait, what was it? Can we go back, sorry? Yeah, yeah. It's this nair that he did over here. That's what I was telling you of, like, staying grounded to, like, up B Pikachu's aerials. Mm. You stayed grounded. You shielded this nair. This nair you could have up B. Oh, I think I only think about up being like, landing aerials. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, even if they haven't landed with the aerial, you can still up B it. Like, that that forwarder, you could have up B it as well. Oh, okay. This one, this one right here, he's about to do it. This one, you shield. Up B, out of that one. When do you press it? Like, as it's just hitting you, or...? Uh, a little bit after it ends. Okay. Just a little bit after it ends. Okay, okay. There are moves that you can up B while they are hitting you, like Young Link up B. But mm -hmm. Pikachu aerials are not are not those moves, besides Downer. Downer is the only move that you can hit like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, nice. Hmm, here... Instead of that chair, just go for the bacon. I actually feel like you go for bacon pretty well. Like, you, you recognize when to use bacon pretty well. Here, you just kind of missed it. Because, like, here, you had Pikachu over here. You yeah. were here. This is roll distance. And that's where you want to be with Chef. Okay. So, over here, you should have done it instead of the back here. Yeah. Oh, can I just ask, sorry. Uh, yeah. Like, how do you specifically do your nair so then it's, like, the least amount of lag? Like, your uh, short okay. hop neutral is? Mm -hmm. So it's short hop. Uh, okay, how can I say this? I it's, guess it's hard uh... to explain. I, I've <laughs> yeah, got cause... my controller. I can follow along. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. So it's like 
rising short hop near, mm -hmm. and then you fast fall um, when you're about to get the last hit. So do you press A like as you're jumping into the air? Yes. Yes. Oh wow! So you just do it the whole time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I kind of like, I'll short hop and then I'm like, oh, I want it to be safe. So I'll wait a bit before I press A so it's more landing. But you can do it rising. Uh -huh, yeah, you can do it rising. And then when you're about to connect the last hit, which is the one that combos, you fast fall. So that, that way you don't have too much lag. Okay, okay. Wait, I'm going to write that down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> fast fall the, like... Kind of as you're about to do the last hit, or like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you're about to land with the Nair, when you're about to connect the last hit, you fast fall. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, those are those little things where I'm like, I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> yeah, it definitely will give you a lot of more combos, and it'll make your Nair less punishable, for sure. Yeah, and then it also comes out quicker, because I'm doing, like, the le l mm -hmm. the weight. Yep. Ooh! Thank God that didn't spike you. <laughs> You can bake in there. There, oh, you missed a lot of bacon opportunity. Yeah, okay. Like around here. Let's see. Uh, here, here, here. You get him off stage again. Bacon there. You see? Yeah, and it would have caught that. And again there. You can bacon again there. You were respecting him too much uh, off stage. Yeah, I think can I was so worried really about the high recovery. But can you just kind of stop it and then react? Uh, to what thing? To the Pikachu up B? Yeah, so I'm. I think I'm worried that if I bake it in any upbees like to this platform above, and then I'm like, oh, oh no. I know what you mean. So what I usually do is I will go for like maybe, um, maybe three pieces of bacon, and then if I see that the Pikachu's are going to the platform, I stop doing bacon and then I up air or okay. nair, whichever one you want to do. Yeah, that's simple. Yeah. Yeah, but if they are grabbing ledge, you just continue using bacon. It's like. You can actually tell this to any player, and it has no counter. It has no counterplay because it's literally reaction based. It, Bacon covers every option for Pikachu. This is why this matchup is so bad. Because okay. usually Pikachu just quick attacks from ledge, and no one can do anything about it. Like almost no characters have options uh, against quick attack. You know. Yeah. But Game of Watch, okay. he just spams B and he's done. <laughs> that makes sense. You react. I think I just get monkey brain when I start mashing B and I just lose all reaction. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. It's just you see the bacon and you're like, oh yeah, that's one million damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can grab that. Nice, nice. Okay. I got greedy. I wanted the platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. You were gonna get a good combo out of that. Ooh. Every time you're in the air against Pikachu, always, always bucket. Even if the Pikachu ends up doing nothing, there's always the chance, like, around there. Oh, okay, I actually got the perfect frame for this. No, oh, dude. Over here. <laughs> exposed, exposed. <laughs> so, you try landing with downer. That's why you got thundered. Yeah. Um, every time you're in the air against Pikachu, always pull out bucket. Oh, is that my downer? Starting. Uh huh. This, oh, is, this no. is your downer starting. Yes. Yes. This is why it's super exposed over here. I'm so exposed, dude. <laughs> okay, but speaking of exposed, what's this in the bottom right? What's his activate window? What is what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> We're not talking about that, man. Okay, anyway, anyway. <laughs> you see, I is this a built PC? <laughs> and when they gave it to me, they were like, oh yeah, this PC has everything, man. It's basically a NASA PC type of thing. The only thing it doesn't have is that it doesn't have Windows. And I was like, and what do I need Windows for? Oh, you can have a cool background on your screen. And I'm like, okay, how much is it? A hundred bucks. I'm like, no. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> I didn't even oh know God, you could have a computer that. without Windows. Anyways, <laughs> <Yeah>. anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You counter exposed me. <laughs> um... Yeah, but anyways, um, always pull out bucket whenever you're a Bob Pikachu, because you never know when they're going to thunder. Never, ever, ever. Yeah, it's and what are they going to do about it, you know? Yeah, it, it just absorbs it, and if you do, it kills at zero, so yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the no stay grounded thing. Yeah. Nice, okay. I feel like those nares that you do from ledge, um, mm -hmm. you have the right idea doing it, because that's what we were talking about, drop ledge nair. 
-hmm. but i feel like you should try to do it a little faster because what you're doing is you're like dropping ledge jumping and then you nair and what you want to do is you want to drop ledge and when you're gonna jump back to nair you want to jump and nair at the same time yeah i think it's the same thing with my short hops where i didn't realize you could fast fall and it still be safe if you do it rising oh. yeah 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 so yeah okay yeah, for this one, it's basically just try to do it at the same time as you jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, the, the back mm. ears. Pikachu backer will never do anything to you, by the way. You will never, like, die or anything from it unless you're, like, super far away in the blast zone. Yeah. But it's just annoying. It just combos and it's annoying. Oh, that was a good nair. There you go. You're catching him on the, on the platform. There you want a bacon. You see, he tried a quick attack onto you, Jeez, and he has no options, dude. So much damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm glad you never rolled from ledge. I would have rolled there and died. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what? Okay, okay, yeah. That that was just cheese, don't worry. Uh, no notes on that. that <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I won't write that down. Yeah. Maybe the best thing there instead would have been to just air dodge, just in case, because you were at, like, the higher position. Mm. But in general, that was just cheese. Okay, nice. Yeah, you try to kill him with the nair. I feel like you could use more uppers as well, like, on the platforms, because, like, you're letting him shield for free in the platforms. You're not, like, pressuring him, you know, like, here. Yeah, my platform pressure sucks. My platform, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you can actually do two things that I will tell you for platform pressuring mm -hmm. as Game & Watch. You can short hop up here, below mm -hmm. him over here. Mm -hmm. Or, if you actually want to kill him, you can just drop a bomb over here on his shield. Like jump and up, like full lucky, hop? No, like, uh... Well, yeah, just make sure that the bomb touches the platform immediately so that it explodes on contact, you know? Yeah, okay. And that way, if you get lucky and his shield pokes him, he dies. Oh, wow. Can you even short hop that? Or does it need to be full hop? Mm, that's what I was thinking. So I think if you short hop it, it won't connect on the platform. I okay. think you actually do have to full hop it. Yeah. And then you just kind of do it on his shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I never save on shield anyway. shield really fast. Mm-hmm, yep. Oh, wow, that killed the wolf. <laughs> Dude, game was just broken. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, nice. You waited it out. Nice. There's in there uh, that I was telling you. Just try mm. to do it a little faster. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. You see, even if you get hit by get up attack, your bacon still hits him. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Back to landings. I like the fact that like, you don't land with downer. You only try to land with downer once and you get killed for it, which sucks. But overall, you don't land with downer. That's crazy. Yeah, I think that's good. In the winner's final set, I was doing kind of more of it. And then I, like, mm. started mixing it up halfway through. So I feel like I had already... Because he was punishing the downers. So I feel like at this point, he was waiting for them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here, like we said, instead, just try to go for the bacon. Yep. Yeah, okay. Or B, yeah. Uh, that dash attack is just criminal, dude. <laughs> 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 dude it's like pikachu has off throw and dash attack and it's like if you shield and you're at kill percent from the throw you can die from getting grabbed you know but then yeah you don't want to shield because you know you are gonna get like grabbed but then you get dash attack and it's like what do i do you know yeah i guess should maybe like directionally air dodge away kind yeah of. or you can start spamming forwarder uh that way you can space out and maybe hit him hmm yeah, there's stand forward there and back here to try to, like, get him. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's the nurse again. That dash attack was good, actually. That one was not bad. I won't call you out for that okay, one. Okay, okay. <laughs> that one was good. It's just there's ways to approach with dash attack, you know? The main thing is that you approached way too much at the beginning of the matches. Right now, I actually don't see you doing it anymore. It's, so it seems like your adaptation is pretty good. It might just come down to a lot of, like, timings that you don't have down, and that's it, honestly. What and do just you mean a couple by situations. That? So, like, for example, your habits, like, you don't land with downer too much, you know? 
like mm -hmm. I said, which is one of Game & Watch's worst habits that you could have, and you don't have it, that's huge. That's huge for your play. Okay, you, nice. You were dash attacking a lot at the beginning of this set, but now I don't see you doing it too, too often, at least not in the past game, at least not as much as in the first game, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, Like, you were still doing it, but a lot less. Mm. So it seems like your adaptation is pretty good, but the thing where you're getting punished for and where you're struggling at is that, for example, situations where I was calling you out for, like, for example, instead of doing bacon over here, you would go charge a down smash over here and you would get, get up attacked for something. Mm. Um, then there's from the left that so you have to do a little faster to try to get out of this advantage. The shield pressure that allows your opponent to get um, out of a platform for free since you're not pressuring them. Like, stuff like that is probably what you're missing. Yeah. So that your gameplay becomes, like... Mm, I don't want to say better because it's already good, you know? But, <laughs> I mean, it can always get better, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, <laughs> so that it can get, well, yeah, better if you want to put it that way, I guess, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I think I, I struggle with me. the, like, the kind of advantage. Because I see... Wait, uh -huh. you hit someone, man? I don't know. They just somehow are at 100. They started at zero every time. <laughs> like, your advantage uh, state is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and that's kind of what I was telling you of, like, you you shoot upper more, you know? Because that's what I do in advantage state. I go, like, for a lot of uppers mm -hmm. so that the opponent cannot land or so that I can frame trap them so that if they air dodge an upper, oh, I can get in there. Oh, I can catch them with a down smash when they land mm. or stuff like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, And then the other thing is, like, yeah, what you were telling me of, like, oh, I struggle at killing with Game & Watch. What I was telling you about the bacon, for example, if you can get more bacon into chair more mm. bombs over here on the platform um a lot of that stuff instead i feel like you would definitely have an easier time at killing and having your advantage state being better you know yeah okay thanks yeah the bombs on the platform is cool yeah that one's really useful it's very useful in a lot of matchups especially oh quick attack is like it's actually laggy quick attack is laggy it's just not as laggy for you to down smash it yeah i think i'd need to like practice like parrying it or something uh, I think shielding it is fine. Shielding it and maybe then grabbing the Pikachu since they most likely always shield. True, true. Okay, <laughs> so here, if you're... Because I, I noticed that you're struggling to approach now. Mm. Which you really shouldn't. You shouldn't try to approach or force an, an interaction because, I mean, there's a 60% difference. Yeah, oh, two. okay, so I get... Like, obviously, at low percent, I'm like, oh, I just want to I want to hit a nair or a grab. But then at this percent, I'm <laughs> like, what do I even actually want to do, you know? So I think mm -hmm. I'm just, like, sitting there doing random moves because I don't know which one's good. <laughs> yeah. You just want to put your opponent at an uncomfortable spot, basically. Yeah. Um, So what you want to do here instead is if you really want to try to force an interaction, instead of using f tilt and up smashes this way, I recommend to approach with back air. If you approach with back air... It always catches them. It's a multi-hit, and it's really good. So, if you catch them with a back air, it'll put them off stage, which leads into an edge guard, which can lead into a kill, or it can lead into bacon for more damage, and eventually you will kill them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or just approach and grab them, because this Pikachu shields a lot. He shields a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there you go. You see, that's the grab, exactly. Mm -hmm. Put him off stage. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Spook attack. Although you could have stopped that quick attack with bacon. Bacon, instead. yeah, yeah. Okay. That Nair, for example, that's where we are talking about the pressure. And that doesn't just apply for, like, shield pressure. Or, sorry, platform pressure. That Nair that you did here, mm -hmm. this one, could have been a bomb instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, like, think about it this way. If you had landed this Nair, what would have happened? He wouldn't have died. Yeah. He wouldn't have been comboed because he's at 120. But instead, if you go for a bomb in here, if he had shielded it, you know it's positive on shield, so you could have grabbed him. Mm -hmm. And if it hits them, if it hits him, he dies. Is it even positive if you just do like a short hop forward here? Yeah, so I'll explain it to you. If you short hop it, it's plus four, I believe, or plus three, something like that. But it still gives you enough time to grab it. Yeah. If you full hop it, it's plus ten. Jeez. Yeah, which That's... obviously gives you enough time to do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that would have been a sick reverse Uno, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. You actually did it there. That was pretty nice. 
put him on stage. Bacon in here instead. Mm. I'm not even gonna pass it. Like you, you already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeez, I'm not doing it really at all, am I? Mm -hmm. He also this Pikachu does a lot of like norm. Oh my, what? <laughs> maybe Sus DI. Maybe. Nah, no, yeah, definitely Sus DI. <laughs> uh, this Pikachu does a lot of like normal get up into shield. So what you can do instead, if you really don't want to go for Bacon, which is understandable, sometimes you don't want to go for it. Uh, you can instead try to just run up to him and grab him. Like there, Th that was actually a really good example. Um. You run, you ran into a chair over here. I believe it's around here. Yeah, here. You ran into a chair, but you both were shielding. This was a free grab for you. Yeah. You could have, like, maybe thrown him up and then try to catch his landing with an air and kill him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just that thing at high percent. I'm like, oh, man, I guess I just have to try and hit F2 or something. Yeah, no. <laughs> you want to just put your opponent on an, at an uncomfortable situation. So that then you can actually kill them, you know? Whether it's off stage to kill them with an S guard or bacon, or juggle them and try to kill them with Nair. Or okay. with a bomb when they land on a platform. Yeah, the yeah, okay. I'm excited to try the bomb on the platform shenanigans. Oh uh, dude, trust me. Oh wow. reactions. <laughs> uh yeah, trust me, it's so much fun, dude. It's so much fun, it's so addictive too. It feels satisfying. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm great. No. <laughs> I can't hype myself Honestly? up in this set that I lose. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. That was really good. Oh, there you go. Catch that rant. Dude, yes. the like three times I've done the bacon, it's worked. I don't know why I, I know. just keep doing it more. <laughs> yeah, because I'm telling you, bacon destroys Pikachu in this matchup. I've always said it. It destroys it in in, uh, in neutral. Look at oh, that. Here we go. Time. Yes, I'm doing it! Why didn't I do this the whole time? <laughs> I'm telling you! He's at 108! What even happened? Mm -hmm. And I believe he was at like 70 before he before you did the bacon. That's crazy. It's so good. Oh, uh, there, do not give away stage control when you're at this type of situations of like uh, high percent, same amount of stocks. Because oh, here I was you went for, an card. for it, yeah. Yeah. And you missed it, so you gave away stage control, and now you're in disadvantage. You're you're at the corner, so do not do that. Do not. Yeah. Just stay on stage, do your bacon, ah. and if it doesn't work, whatever, at least you didn't give stage control for free, you know? Yeah. Oh, and there, you could have upbeat the uh, the F-Tilt, just, just quickly over here. Uh, you could have upbeat this F-Tilt instead, because you dropped shield over here. This one, you could have upbeat. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, know, I know it wouldn't have comboed, and it wouldn't have done much for you in those terms. But it would have gotten you out of this situation, and you would have put him at a juggle spot. So yeah, uh, it's it's better to just up be it. I know it's stupid, and people go like, "Oh, he's just a being, man." <laughs> but like, <laughs> but there's there's a reason for it, you know. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Bacon at that percent uh, might have not been that great. Yeah. Grab correct. You see, you're actually getting the grabs because you're recognizing it. Yeah. Back throw, okay. Oh, yeah. They always go for F smash, dude. Always. And <laughs> I don't know if you know this. I think a lot of people don't know this, but Pikachu's F smash does not true frame. Oh, okay. Yeah, so never worry about them charging it near the ledge. It will never hit you. So you could just kind of even hang on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just wait there, see what they do. And if yeah. they charge an F smash, it's like, ah, uh, whatever. Okay. You're, you're done. Okay. Nice. That air dodge though on the thunder could have been a bucket. Bucket. Again. Yep. Yep. I'm seeing so many things now. <laughs> yeah. Every time you feel like he's gonna thunder, bucket. Always pull out bucket. It's frame six, so it's not that slow. Yeah. It's only for three frames slower than an air dodge, which sometimes might get you killed, but it's still worth trying it. Like, if the thunder hits you, it's because it was true. Yeah. But if you pull out the bucket, it's because it wasn't true. So that's how that works. Yeah. There. Oh, there, that was nice shield pressure right there. There. They, for example, there you're catching with Nairs and that's good. But keep the uppers. Keep the uppers going there. Oh, can we go back? Sorry. Yeah. So like here, you're catching him a lot with like the Nairs and stuff. You, you put him in juggling spot over here. 
you juggle him, you juggle him again, you up air, then you stop the up airing. You go for an air, you catch him, that's good. You go for an up air, here, you stay grounded. Go for another up air. To just keep going this side. for it, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I focus a bit too much on like trying to get a read on it or something. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, I, I don't feel like your advantage state is bad. It's just like, if you put that extra pressure on them, it becomes like 10 times better, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're crazy Ooh. at it, so, like... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. You guys went Hollow Bastion. You guys have that legal over there. Yeah, we do. We do. Our stage list is kind of like... Uh, what don't we have? We kind of have everything except, like, Northern Cave, Yoshi's Story, and... That might be it, actually. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, okay, just a little faster. A little faster would have actually gotten it. Okay. Nice. Your execution is nice. Like, I've coached a lot of Game Watch players, dude. My and what, they kind of follow up. Your your execution, it's really good. Oh, thanks. Like, like you, you get your combos and you get them, you connect them. And that's good. Because uh, I've had a lot of students with, like, Game Watch who, like, they go, like, hey, how do I connect more than one there? Okay. They, I'm, I'm, tell I'm school, a you know? little bit past that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, eh. no, dude. Because like, I mean, there's players who get to grants as well, like like you, mm. but their execution is not that great. <laughs> it's not that great. Wadi. And yours? Shout outs to Wadi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude. Thank you. So like yours, yours is there. It's pretty good. Nice, that's a nice early up B. So now that I think about it, you haven't up beat high too too much anymore. That was per that's probably the first one I've seen in a while. True, yeah. That was so good. <laughs> I want you to look at what you did here. You did exactly what I've been telling you. Keep the pressure with the juggles to frame trap them. You frame trapped him here, boom, he's dead. The but only thing you I probably do... could have done the up air and still done that, right? Uh huh. Exactly, and that's yeah. exactly what I was gonna See, say. I I go it's for like, the reads too much. I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Because like this here, over here, as you were falling, you could have upheld him here. He would have earned dodged like he did here. But when you landed, you would have down smashed him either way. But just in case he didn't, I still would have got him anyway. But in uh -huh, this, yes. in this is like a pure read, so it's like not as good. Exactly. There you go. More combos. Uh, you see see what I mean? You got that combo done. You got that combo done. Oh, that there, bad. The problem was landing on top of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just grab ledge. Grab ledge all of the time. Never land on top of your opponent when you have uh, the lead. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, what is he doing? <laughs> no, where's the bacon? <laughs> yeah, it was the bacon. Nice, nice catch. That was good. It just got you out of disadvantage. It's pretty good. Okay. Man, I am stuck Ooh. here. Yeah. You took a little bit of percent for sure. <laughs> okay. Bacon here instead of going for the edge guard. Oh, and then I gave it up and now I switched. You're right. Uh -huh. You're exactly. Right. Exactly. That's the problem. Because, like, you were starting to get the lead back, but since you gave up stage control, now you're at a disadvantage for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I always, when I charge down smash that ledge, I'm like, please, 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 please. <laughs> you can dash attack that, by the way. If you really? ever shield that. Uh huh. Yeah, it's so laggy. It's like minus 28. Oh my god. So even mm -hmm. if it's super spaced. Yep, like over here. Yeah, you can even, you can do two things. You can drop shield over here, dash attack him, or drop shield and dash grab him. Wow. Okay. Got the bacon again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I'm not going to question that. That was pretty good. You know, the best thing about getting a coach is like, it's less cringy. I hate looking at my sets like on my own and then I lost. I'm like, I just don't even want to look, you know? 
favorite. Uh, dude, the way, the way I got good was by watching my own sets for sure, like 10 times, and I get you. I cringe so hard every time I watch Yeah, them. exactly. When you're with another person, though, it's, it feels less cringe, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Oh, okay, that was a missing, but I'm Yeah, I wanted to side B him. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Honestly, it would have been good, yeah, because you're you are uh, losing over here. Yeah, I okay. wanted to side B. At least you didn't go for it again, because I I would have gone for it again, and I would have gotten punished. You are actually getting the damage. That's <laughs> and you died because you landed on top of him. Ah, oh, and the up be early, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the up be early was fine, you know, like this. Was actually fine because he didn't punish you. Mm -hmm. But the problem was getting greedy trying to forward air him. Like, look at where the forwarder was, bro. Like, <laughs> it wasn't gonna hit him, you know? Uh, in this case, you could have done two things. One, grab ledge. Or, glide with the up B and air dodge to the platform. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking that air dodge, yeah. Yeah, either one of which would have been better for sure. Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah. Well, there that's that's pretty much what it is. Um, like I said, you have very good execution. I'm actually, like, genuinely shocked. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's very good execution. Like, Pikachu especially is a character. The Game & Watch has an easy time comboing compared to, like, the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. But people still struggle at, uh, at comboing him. But you don't. You actually have it down, so... Thank you, thank I you. Like, I feel like if you can do that against Pikachu... Bro, you can do that. You can do whatever against any character, really. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Okay, so wait, the thing, the things I got was like in neutral, just kind of the play the more the more grounded game, and you can up be like as they're aerialing like above your shield, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, what else was it? Always do the down B when above Pikachu. I dash tag way too much. Go for the bacon mm -hmm. more. Um, oh, I'm trying to the, trying to remember off the, the top shield of my pressure head. with the bombs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The platform with the... Wait, let me let me write that down. Let me write that down. I'm yeah. so excited to try that. <laughs> platform pressure with forward air. And then if they shield it, you just grab them, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. okay. Well, if they're on a platform and you drop the forward air and then you end up below the platform, you can just nair them instead and you will continue the shield pressure. Like falling there or rising there? Rising there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and then you do the fast roll on the last hit. Uh-huh. If they're shooting that again, and then it's safe. Yep. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. My mind is expanding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. more you know. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, by the way. This is this has been awesome. Hey, no problem, man. I got you, dude. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, please make sure to check out Meister. Check out his, his Metafy. Uh, and you stream as well, yeah, Twitch? Yep, twitch.tv slash MeisterGNW. Yeah, okay. I'll put it all down in the description. Uh, definitely go check it out. Thank you so much for this. This this has been amazing. Hey, no problem, man. Anytime, man. Whenever you want to do anything else, I'm, I'm down, bro. Yeah, I'm dude, down. dude, once I got the... Oh, it did, dude, I mean, it'll be very laggy, but, you know, once I've improved my gaming watch skills, maybe we could have a showdown. I'm down, I'm down. Are you actually? Lag, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm down, dude. I play people from Germany, whatever. I'm down, dude. Okay, okay. Honestly, Australia's probably further than Germany. Oh, uh, sure? <laughs> sure, but I've experienced the league, so I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm okay, fine. okay. <laughs> I gotta trade up, though. Are you, you, I'm the Padawan right now. You're the master. I gotta trade up. <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs>